Welcome to this talk about online meetings between grandparents and grandchildren. My name is Verena Fuchsberger and I'm happy to present this paper on behalf of my co-authors Masha Beutel, Philippe Entechac and Manfred Chiligi, all of us being from the Center for Human Computer Interaction at the University of Salzburg, Austria. The study presented in this paper is part of a larger research endeavor where we explore tangible ways for grandparents and grandchildren to connect over distance. In conversations with grandparents and grandchildren, we noticed that as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, numerous activities had spontaneously and creatively been invented as part of video chats, many of which incorporating physical things. This observation led us to inquire into the various roles that physical objects can have in such online meetings, which is the topic of this paper. Our inquiry was inspired by the network theory which supported us in focusing on different actors and how they, together, shape a situation. In particular, we aim to look at human and non-human actors in online meetings and at relational agency, which is what emerges between the actors. Furthermore, we aim to distinguish between intermediaries and mediators, the latter ones having an effect on the situation, the former ones not. We translated these ideas into a qualitative online questionnaire. Briefly summarized, in regards to actors, we asked about means of communication and activities. In regards to agency, objects and procedures were targeted. And in regards to intermediaries and mediators, we aimed for reports of changes. 68 grandparents and 17 grandchildren participated, which resulted in 85 datasets to be analyzed by means of content analysis. Our findings revealed many different actors and activities, just in control of objects, temporary or enduring transformations of and between meetings, as well as technological, emotional and bodily boundaries. In the paper, we discussed these findings in form of design sensitivities and implications, which relate to temporal trajectories, meaning the transfer of objects across the course of several meetings, to spatial trajectories which indicate digital visits in each other's apartments, rooms or gardens, to agencies of objects and spaces, such as that of mobile phones to show each other around, to renegotiations of practices through constantly reinventing what is happening, and to the other meeting, which draws attention to the fact that online meetings need to add to face-to-face -face meetings, not mimic, not replace them. In the following, we exemplarily depict two of those topics. This picture shows a grandchild with a mobile phone targeted onto a cat and grandparents following it via video chat. This example is characteristic to many reports of participants where non-human actors were used to demonstrate something, to engage each other, to talk about, etc. They also have heterogeneous temporal trajectories. Some were meaningful already in previous physical meetings and transferred to online meetings and back again. Some became meaningful in the online meetings. We thus suggest that design may focus on how to enable objects to traverse online and offline, rather than design a particular object. This picture shows a grandmother reading out from a physical book next to a computer screen. It illustrates a participant's report where grandchildren send emojis after their grandparents read out to them to comment on the reading. There were a couple of accounts where the physical and the digital were creatively connected such as that in contrast to meeting offline, one can observe the other one's face for a longer time. These examples would not be possible nor make sense in offline meetings. However, online meetings were also often considered with reservations. They would be lacking bodily qualities, offering sufficient expressive opportunities, and may even be perceived as threats to physical meetings. Thus, research may question existing solutions or concepts in regards to what they actually add, in design, we critically explore other forms of meetings, other activities, objects, places, and meanings in order to provide an added value. To conclude, we found heterogeneous, numerous, and creative actors. We identified dynamic, negotiated, and thoughtful activities. And we unveiled that the values of face-to-face -face meetings and online meetings are distinct, but can complement each other to, or be integrated to result in hybrid meetings. Thank you.